Yes, we have found a male lion who may or may not be alive. As you can see, he is showing a distinct lack of enthusiasm for his Saturday morning, but he is a male lion, and that's good. He's uh, not doing a great deal at the moment. As you can see, he did sit up as we got here, gave us a bit of a look, and then lay down again. And I don't know who he is. I'm not sure which one he is. I'm pretty sure he's not. Who did we have last? And he's got a much bigger mane than the lion we had last. Let me just move a little bit around him slightly, give you some variation in the sighting. I'm afraid we failed to find whatever was making those squirrels so upset. I think the fact that the impalas were not particularly interested in alarm calling makes me think that it could have been a snake or something like that. Hello? Which one are you? Hmm? Would you at least open your eyes just briefly? Be kind? what's interesting here is to see how the grass has changed color and how he is starting to blend in with it quite well. Now, people often ask well, why animals certain colors and I think they're almost always colored for the winter. In the summer of course you can hide behind bushes and in the long grass but as the winter comes and the vegetation recedes so you need to be more and more well hidden so an, a lion, big as it is, is perfectly coloured for the winter grass and winter vegetation. He's also perfectly adapted for sleeping, which he does most of his time. It would be nice of him at least to lie in an area where we didn't have to look at a road junction, you know, you'd think he could put himself at least in a clearing. But he could not even extend himself to doing that. Now, you might see also that his belly, which is the um, hungry making color of sort of honeyed custard at the moment, uh, is quite full. Although he's not breathing very hard, it is quite full and the Birmingham boys Two of them have been on a buffalo kill in Mala Mala to the south of here. And I think he's probably been snacking on that. You see that, well, you wouldn't have seen, but it made him open his eyes very slightly when I said buffalo kill. Buffalo kill. Buffalo kill. No, only once. Giraffe kill. Or nothing. Oh, I've just heard on the radio that a buffalo has been killed. No, he's just not interested. Uh, Jay, you say that you think this might be Nana, the warrior. I think that you are probably correct, Jay. This is, he's, I seem to remember him having the darkest mane. Didn't he have the darkest mane? And this chap's got a nice dark mane. We have some eye-opening, everybody. Oh, good grief. Hold on to your seats. Mm. That's quite a nice picture of sort of evil-shaped eyes. Seb, I think he quite likes you. Now, this is where a male lion becomes so very impressive. Yeah, that is Nana. He's got the equal sign on his nose. Ah, oh, well done. Thank you very, very much. And Roshni, you say that he has a beautiful mane. He does indeed salon quality mane, as I've said. Although I don't think he's done a very good job of washing his face, to be honest. He's still got a bit of blood on it. He's picked something up on the wind. See how he keeps turning his head to the wind? No, 
idea what that could be. That's it. Turn your head to the sun there. That's a good boy. He's like a model at a shoot now. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, he does look like he's got a bit of a cut on the side of his face, but um, I, you know, we see these guys so infrequently these days that it's difficult to know, you know, whether those cuts and bruises and things are new or old, I find. Still, it's very nice having a male lion with us. Oh, he's just watched a vulture fly over the top of his head. A white-backed vulture. Perhaps the vulture hoping for a few thermals. In fact, almost certainly hoping for a few thermals. But just getting quite a lot of wind and not much heat today. <laughs> I'm so glad he took it upon himself to sit up. It was very kind of him. Thank you, Mr. Lion. I don't suppose you want to roar, do you? I know this isn't really your roaring time, but maybe you'd make an exception. Hmm? It is Saturday cat a day. see the sun starting to come out now, changing the picture. And I think we're about to have another collapse onto the ground so that he might sleep. Yes, shame. Hey, after all that activity, Right, I think we're probably going to spend another few minutes with this lion and then move on. While we do that, Tristan apparently has got a, well, a member of the Orthrop today that uh, has a crest. Good. <laughs> 